Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com, the climate guy setting the record straight about climate. This video is about the incredible heat waves of 1896. It's summer now and the fake news press is full of stories about record heat in Arizona, deadly heat waves becoming more common due to climate change. The actual thermometer data shows that heat waves in the U.S. are becoming much less common than they were in the 1930s and the 1950s, when thousands of people died from the heat. The fake news has these same stories every year around the same time. Here's the same story from last year, June 16, 2016. Arizona prepares for a historic, deadly heat wave. I particularly like the story down below it where they're lying about the heat waves and accusing anyone who tells the truth of being a liar. So now let's get to the topic of this video, the heat of 1896. Parker, Arizona is the only long-term temperature station with data going from the 1890s to the present. The frequency of 110 degree days in Parker has dropped by more than 50% since the 1890s with 1896 being their hottest year. They had 45 days over 110 degrees in 1896. This graph shows daily maximum temperatures in Parker from June through August 1896. In June it reached 126 degrees and they had very long spells where every day was over 110 degrees. During the late 19th and early 20th century, 120 degree days were pretty common in Parker. In 1896, they had seven consecutive days over 120 degrees, and in 1905, they repeated that. But 120 degree days have become pretty rare there in recent years. The summer of 1896 wasn't just hot in Arizona. In Europe, they were having an incredible heat wave too. People were dropping dead from sunstroke in England, and birds were dropping dead from the heat in Spain. The eastern U.S. had an unprecedented heat wave in early May of 1896. On May 10, 1896, 25% of United States Historical Climatology Network stations were over 90 degrees. Let's look at the temperatures in the eastern U.S. on May 10, 1896. The yellow pin show locations which were over 80 degrees on that date, and the red pin show locations which were over 90 degrees on May 10, 1896. Temperatures reached into the 90s well up into Maine. In fact, Farmington, Maine saw record heat in early May during both 1895 and 1896 when it was in the 90s both years. Recent years have seen nothing like that. The Northern Hemisphere saw unprecedented heat waves during 1896, and so did the Southern Hemisphere. January of 1896 was the hottest month on record in much of Australia. The New York Times reported 127 degrees in the shade at Adelaide. And check out these daily temperatures at a location about 500 miles west of Sydney. 112, 107, 112, 114, 118, 121, 123, 118, 118, 115, 117, 124, 117, 121, 120, 128, 128, 124, 129, 126, 120, 126, 129, and 110 degrees. That's comparable to the temperatures we saw at Parker, Arizona in June of 1896, perhaps even hotter. Similarly, the Boric Post Office blew away all records for heat in January of 1896. They had 18 days over 110 degrees, which was completely unprecedented. Later on, 110 degree days became very rare at Boric. The next graph shows the daily temperatures in Boric during January of 1896. This is 110 degrees right here. You can see that they had an incredible heat wave that month. If climate scientists were actual scientists, they would want to understand why it was so hot in 1896. But they take a different approach. In the United States, scientists simply tamper with the data to make the heat of the past disappear. And in Australia, they simply hide all temperatures before 1910. But climate science shows no indication of being actual science. 
It's just a group of consultants who are getting paid to push the global warming scam. Visit Toto on the web at realclimatescience.com. He's been pulling back the curtain on junk science for a long time.